factorizing. Well, what is factorizing? Let's look at 3 outside of x plus 2. We know how to expand because we multiply out the term at the front by everything in the bracket, and that gives us 3x plus 6. We know this is called expanding. Factorizing is going from 3x plus 6 into bracket form. So this is factorizing. And how do we factorize? Well, let's look at that same, let's look at that example, 3x plus 6. How do we get it back into factorized form? Well, it's all about looking at the highest common factor in all the terms. So we've got two terms here, 3x and a positive 6. What is the highest common factor of both of these terms? Well, here, the highest common factor is actually 3. Because 3 goes into 3x, and 3 goes into 6. So once we work out the highest common factor, that's what goes outside the bracket. Then inside the bracket, we need to write the terms that we'd have that if multiplied by that 3, give us these terms. So what do we need to multiply by 3 to give us 3x. Well, we need to multiply by x, because 3 times x gives us 3x. What do we need to multiply by 3 to give us back to 6? Well, we need to multiply by 2. And you can see we've successfully factorised 3x plus 6 into its factorised form. Let's have a look at some more examples. How can we factorize 10x plus 15y? When we have pronumerals that are different, there is no common factor for the pronumerals. But with our numbers, it looks like there might be a highest common factor, and in this case, it's 5. Because 5 goes into 10 and 5 goes into 15. So let's take a 5 out, side a bracket. What do we need to multiply by 5? To get back to 10x. Well here we're going to need 2x plus what do we need to multiply by 5 to get us back to 15y? Well we're going to need 3y because 5 times 3 is going to get us back to 15 and that has been successfully factorized. What about 12a plus 18ab. This time we have some prime numerals that are the same, which means they're going to contribute to the highest common factor. But we've also got to look at the numbers as well. In 12 and 18, what number goes, what's the highest number that goes into both 12 and 18? Well, that'd be 6. And because a is in both, a is also a common factor. And now, what do we need to multiply by 6a to get us back to 12a? Well, we're going to need to multiply by 2, because 6a times 2 is going to give us 12a. Plus, because we have a plus sign. Well, we've taken out a, so a is not going to be in here, but we're going to be left with a b here. And what number do we need to multiply 6 by to get 18? Well, that's going to be 3, and we've still got the b because we never took it out, and that's that one factorised. What about minus 10a minus 20? Well, these are both negative, so it would make sense to take out a negative as a common factor. Now, out of 10 and 20, the highest common factor is 10, because 10 goes into both of those. And because a is only in one of the terms, I can't take out a. So what do we need to multiply minus 10 by to get us minus 10a? Well, we just need a. And if we've taken out a minus here, this minus is going to change to a plus. 
because when we times the negative by the positive, we'll get back to a negative. And what do we need to times 10 by to get us back to 20? Well, we need to multiply by 2. One more. Let's look at x squared plus 5. x. Well, in this case, there's no number we can take out for the coefficients because this one's 1 and this one's 5. So, but this one has x squared and this one has x which means x is in both, x squared is not in both, x squared is in this one, but x is in both, so we can take out one of the x's. And what do I need to multiply x by to get me x squared? Well, we just need an x, because x times x is x squared. Plus, what do we need to multiply the x by to get us back to 5x? Well, we just need a 5 for that. And that's fully factorized.